Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for oh, almost 11 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 36 verses 1 to 6. Here's God's word. Transgression speaks to the wicked. Deep in his heart there is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are trouble and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast you save, O Lord. Psalm 36, 1 to 6. And here's my poem that is inspired by this psalm. Those who do not reject evil. Those who do not reject evil are serving the world. They do not fear the Lord nor heed his word. He thinks highly of himself and never cares for others. Greed and control are the way he operates and lives for. What comes out of his mouth are lies and deceit. He always schemes to get and receive. Those who do not reject evil serves the prince of this world. The wicked propagates selfishness and hates God's word. Stay away from those who take part in evil ways. They will experience the wrath of God and be shamed have nothing to do with them or condone their acts. They will not receive the crown of life from our Lord God. Reflection. How can one spot those who do not reject evil? And how is discernment different from intelligence? Though the only way you can detect evil is if you know the word of God or if you know God. So if you're not a believer of God, you will not detect what is right and what is wrong because wisdom only comes from God himself. So, and discernment also is a gift that only comes from, uh, from believing in God. You will not have discernment. You may be intelligent, but necess not necessarily be able to discern. Discernment is a gift that uh, makes you detect what is evil and what is good. So how would you know evil if you do not know good? And how would you know good if you do not know evil? Well, you can know evil because only you know the Lord and you know the Word of God. And um, the way, so since, uh, since the fall of Adam and Eve, we have our nature of being bent towards sin, towards being selfish. But that's not how God made us. God made us in His own image, according to Genesis. And uh, His image is love. He is uh, creative, all-powerful, almighty. He has authority. He is the head and not the tail. He is compassionate. He is, um, he is faithful and steadfast in his love. So when you see anything that is opposite that you know about God, then that belongs to the world and that is most likely evil. So those who do not reject evil in this psalm, it's, it clearly shows us who are people that we, we need to reject ourselves if we are believers of God. Because when we do not reject evil, we are condoning them. Therefore, we become enemies of God because we're serving the world. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.